Hope you guys have all been well. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the new Negative Supply Basic Film Carrier Mark II. This is a new product that they've just announced, and we're going to jump into it. We're going to do a little unboxing. I'm going to show you guys how it works, and we're going to do a little scanning demo. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so jumping right into it, these are some of the pieces that you can purchase from Negative Supply, and we're going to unbox and go through each one of these. So just to start off, this is the basic film carrier mark II um, adapter plate for the 4x5 light source so what this is going to do is mask out any of the extra light that's coming off of your light source so you have a nice clean image to scan secondly we have here is the full border scanning cassette and this is going to work great if you want to scan different sizes of film uh, like half frame or if you have panoramas for example this is going to be great and this is also going to allow you to replace the internal cassette of the film carrier mark II to scan with the borders if you choose to do that we also have here the pro film carrier 35 scanning hood and this is going to be great again to reduce any of the extra light that's coming from around you uh, to get a nice clean scan so here we have the basic film carrier 35 mark II. so let's open it up and check it out so inside first thing we're going to see is the hood adapter um, and this is going to pair perfectly with the actual scanning hood and they're kind of going to go over on top of each other and we'll get back to that in a little bit so here we have the new basic film carrier 35 mark ii and this thing is absolutely tiny and it is extremely lightweight which i love so this is going to be great even if this is something you want to throw in like a little backpack with one of their small light sources you can have this with you at all times it looks like they have these little quick release tabs for removing the uh the cassettes so i'll give you guys a little closer look at this And the construction of this is absolutely gorgeous. This is going to retail for $79 USD, and that's the MSRP. So it's very, very, very competitively priced. Um, if you're comparing it to something like their Pro Film Carrier 35, that starts at $299. So this is going to be amazing for somebody that's just getting into DSLR scanning and wants the highest quality scans that they can get. This is going to give you even better film flatness so you're going to get nice flat scans and it's going to be extremely versatile in your kit so included in the box we also have uh, some film masks and again you can see we have a panorama mask um, just a standard 35 mil frame mask and then a half frame i'm assuming this just slides right in here there you go and just like that, you've created a nice mask to give you a nice clean scan. And just as easily, you can swap these out if you're going to go with a panorama, for example. And it just slides right in here. And just like that, you already have a panorama mask. Amazing. So let's put this aside and I'll show you guys some of the other accessories that you can pick up this is the scanning hood so let's open this up it's going to come in two pieces this is going to be great if you're using a longer lens like a 60 or 100 mil where it's a lot higher up from the camera um, or you can remove it if you're using a shorter lens like the nikkor uh, 40 millimeter macro so let's open this up as well this is the hood adapter and these come all very nicely packaged as well so how this is going to work is you're just going to pop it right on to your basic film carrier and it's going to have a beautiful fit as you can see that thing's not going anywhere and then right on top of that you're going to take your first piece that has this rectangle on it and that'll sit 
very nicely right in there. And again, the fit and finish of these are extremely nice. So you're not going to get any extra light coming out. And as you can see, you can, you can shake this around. It's not going anywhere. And again, if you need the extension, this just pops right on and you're good to go. So this is a great addition, especially if you're using, if you're scanning in a room where you can't close the curtains or you can't get rid of excess light, this is going to be an essential part of your kit. So I highly recommend you picking that up. So let's move on to the full border uh, scanning cassette. So you get a couple things in here. So you get a little instruction manual on how to install it. You also get additional cassettes in here, just in case you lose the ones that were provided, as well as a two and a half mil um, hex key for disassembly. And in here, you'll find the full border scanning cassette. So let's put this in together. And we're gonna follow these instructions. Fairly simple. On the basic film carrier Mark II, you're gonna have these two screws, which are very convenient because you don't need to use the hex key. So after loosening the screws, you can just push on from the inside and the entire cartridge will slide right out. And then you can replace it with the full border scanning, uh, the full border um, cartridge. There you go. And then you just pop in the screws back. And I love that they did this. You don't need to use the hex key if you don't need to. This simplifies the process. And just like that, you have a full border scanning guide in place. So it's that easy, really. So for those interested, I also want to make a comparison with their ProFilm Carrier 35. Just to show you the, the difference. So this is the ProFilm Carrier 35. And again, this one's made out of metal and brass. This was a limited edition one. And this is the new basic film carrier Mark II. And it's a lot shallower as well. So this is going to be amazing if you're just getting into film scanning. You don't want something to take up too much space. And it's going to be compatible with all the accessories I just showed you guys. And some more that are coming up. Um, so it's going to be great for everybody that's getting into film scanning and if you haven't already done so i'd really encourage you to do the scanning yourself you will enjoy the process a lot more and you will definitely enjoy the results you get from scanning yourself so i hope this video was fairly informative um let's hop over to the scanning station and i will show you guys a little demo so for this scanning demo, I have my 5x7 light source here and we're going to use the 4x5 mask on top of that and then we're going to use the adapter plate right over here and this is the plate that's going to come in the set to use with your larger light sources. Now you don't need these adapter plates if you're using the smaller light sources. Um, but to use with the larger ones, you will need this adapter plate and this one that's included in the set. And this is going to create the mask for your basic film carrier 35 Mark II. And it's going to create a flat surface for you to mount that to. So just like that, we've now assembled the entire kit needed for scanning. So what you're going to do is you're going to feed in your film through the tiny little slots on the side and it's going to hold your film extremely flat and as you can see just like that once you've taken the frame all you have to do is just manually push it forward and you will advance to the next frame and you would proceed to take your photo and then move on to the next but that's going to be how you're going to be scanning your film. It's going to be that simple. 
Once you're done taking your pictures, you can put it in Lightroom. If you need to do some cropping and masking or even any color adjustments that need to be made, it's going to be extremely efficient. It's going to be extremely fast. It's, this, this takes up virtually no space, especially if you're using the smaller light sources. Um, I have this larger one to scan up to 4x5 or even 5x7 if I need to. I hope you guys found this video informative and this helps you kind of choose which carrier is going to be best for you. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram. I'll be more than happy to help you. If you guys are looking to purchase one of these, I will leave a link in the description. Thank you again to Negative Supply for sponsoring this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.